Hey Cardinal fans, for this edition of the Cardinal Express, we're out here at the softball field with the big conference series this weekend. We wanted to catch up and get to know some of the softball players a little bit better. Hey fans, we're here with Delaney Guzman, a freshman utility player here with the softball team. Delaney, thank you for being here with us, first of all. Oh, no problem. So coming out of high school and playing Division I softball, what has been the biggest adjustment for you? Uh, the speed of the game. So in high school, it's a lot more laid back and here. Everyone's out here, you know, getting to it every single practice, every single game. And the competition's a lot harder than high school, of course. I would say the adjustment is speed. I know out here we work on a lot of time timing, um, faster girls, stronger girls. And a lot of adjustment is uh, hitting wise also. The pitch selection is a lot smaller, so you just have to be selective. It's definitely been a little bit difficult because um, softball becomes like a job, I feel, and it's something that you have to focus on every single day. I mean, we have practice every single day. We have tournaments or games on the weekend, so it definitely becomes your whole world. I mean, school always come first, <laughs> but softball is definitely like a big part of your life in college. You don't have time to like mess around or stuff like that. So, it's, so you talked about how difficult it is, but yeah. what about the fun part the about fun being part, a collegiate think, athlete? Yeah. Um, it's really fun. I mean, we get to travel. I We went to Arkansas and Louisiana, and those are places that I've never been before. And I don't think I'd ever go if I wasn't playing softball. And um, I've made so many new friends. I mean, we have a lot of girls on the team, and I got close to a lot of them. And they're like my sisters. We're together all the time. Now, you're a senior. You've been here all four years. Uh, what has that been like for you? Uh, well, it's been a roller coaster. Uh, we had some good times and bad times, but uh, overall, it was very good. What do you think the team chemistry is like? Um, definitely good and goofy and crazy. We're all just always chatting in group texts, roasting each other, sending funny pics, so it's pretty good. Our chemistry is actually pretty good. All of us are super close. It's, it's like a family away from your family. It's great. I feel like the whole freshman class is pretty close. And uh, I think the whole team is really close in general. We all get along and we all laugh. We have inside jokes. It's really cool. Can you tell us who the goofiest player or funniest player on the team is? It's definitely Marcella Lopez. She's crazy. Um, she's spunky. She is always saying something. Uh, and she's just, um, she, ha she shows a lot of personality when she plays as well. I feel like all of us think we're pretty funny. So all of us kind of pick and choose when we want to be the funny one on the team. I would say Haley's always a jokester, always calling people out. She definitely does that. <laughs> what about your favorite athlete, a role model you have? Um, I'm going to have to say uh, Dak Prescott. Uh, he came in. Obviously, he was rookie, and uh, he just did the dang thing. You know, no pressure, just did it. Mike Trout. Mike Trout? Yeah, because he's think? cute. He's really hot. <laughs> I mean, he's a really good hitter. Um, <laughs> he hits bombs. I'm going to go with Derek Jeter, just because it's kind of basic, baseball player. But um, to me, he's always gone out. He's played his hardest, whether he's injured or not. And even when he does come back from injury, he comes back strong. And that's always been something that I've struggled with um, the four years, is injuries come and go, and to come back strong. I'm number 32 because my favorite athlete is Shaq, and he was also number 32. And I love how he's always in the zone. And I try to aspire to always be in the zone, just like him. What about a pump-up song? Do you have a, a song that you like to listen to before games? Honestly, anything loud. I don't have a particular song. I just like loud music, of course. I'm gonna go party up DMX. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. <laughs> All right, so if we didn't know it, now we know it. We do. <laughs> All right, you have a big series this weekend against McNeese. Uh, what can you tell the fans to come out and support? Uh, how does that affect you guys out on the field? Um, definitely their cheering and their energy feeds off of us and feeds off of them. So back and forth, if, they're, if we feel their support, you know, we tend to um, perform better. I think a lot of support is just exactly what we need. When you hear your fans cheering for you and you're going hard, it makes you want to go harder for them. It gives you a reason to play for, and that's what I feel like sports is all about is purpose. And I feel like if our fans are out here supporting us, we have purpose to be out there. I think they should come out and support their fellow students here at Incarnate Word. And, of course, we always have a great time, and I think watching us is a good, great time too. You guys should come out because this is a really hardworking team. We work our butt-offs every single day at practice. Um, and I think we're going to upset a few teams this season. All right, well, thank you very much, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.